so here I have a cup of colored water and a cup of normal water and some molds so we would be pouring this colored water and normal water into these molds and we will be turning liquid to solid so we will freeze it overnight and it will turn into solid so let's start pouring gonna just cap it and now the normal water so, okay I spilled it a little so we cap this one fill with normal water and put the rest of this here Okay, so we will be freezing this overnight and finally if we see it in the morning, I think it should turn into ice. Okay, so we froze these candies overnight and finally these are now frozen and are frost candies. So here we can see that liquid turned into solid by the process of solidification. So our colored water here solidified to take the shape of the mode in which we kept it. And thus this proves that cooling does solidification. So these actually look very tempting. I am ready to eat one. But we are going to use it next to prove that solids can also turn into liquids. So we are going to basically heat this. So that was the colored water which I showed you here I have some frozen water lollies also so as you can see here the water has solidified into a solid water is a liquid by its state and it has solidified into a solid okay so uh, I have left this out for a couple of minutes and if you can see that it has started to melt so there is water in the plate I don't know if you guys can see it but basically it starts to melt due to the heat in the atmosphere and of course it is in contact with the surface of, of a different temperature. So now what I am going to do is I am going to put these things in a pan, both of these in a pan, there then I am going to put it on gas and boil it. Alright so I had to break it into pieces for it to melt. So now this is on the gas and it is slowly turning into the liquid it is on the gas and if you can see there is already a puddle of water so it will gradually turn into liquid because we are heating it and we are heating it on a slow gas ok so now our liquid is boiling and if you can see here there is one process which is melting and another process see evaporation and boiling so it started it starts to boil when you heat it very much so now it's on high flame and as you can see here all the ice is literally gone and now it's boiling you can even hear the sound it will soon be turning into water vapor so the water started to boil but in order to show that it turns into water vapor we need an evidence of water vapor right that's here you can't capture it so you put a lid on it and this is boiling on the inside so see there is water vapors on this there is water in, on this actually so the water evaporates so, so the water evaporates and then it comes in contact with this lid which has a different temperature and everything and then it condenses on it okay so now we are a few minutes into the boiling and as you can see here the water level is very very down to from what we started with and there is a lot of con condensation of water on this. So we have seen solids turning into liquids, liquid turning into solid and liquids turning into gas. 
but solids can also turn into gas by the process of sublimation so it basically skips the liquid state and turns directly to gas so there are a lot of examples of sublimation where solids turn into gas for example you have naphthalene balls and solid air fresheners which can directly turn into gas so very few of the examples of sublimation can be performed at home and these are one of them so we have already drawn a line on this side to show you how much area this solid occupies and we will observe this for a few days and it should reduce as uh, some part of it should be turning into should be turning directly into the gas So now after few days we observe that our naphthalene balls have shrinked a little and our solid air freshener is very very small now. So we are observing sublimation here. There was no liquid state here. Solids directly turned into gas because a part of these disappeared. There is a slight change only in the naphthalene balls because 3-4 naphthalene balls are supposed to protect your woolen clothes for like 6 months and air fresheners are supposed to last for like only a month. So that's why there is a difference in the change. But here we observe sublimation. So with this we come to the end of our experiment. We have observed solid liquid gas changes and this would be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel for more useful content like this. Thank you.